Hi, welcome to this demo of IBM Spectrum Protect version 8112. I'll be showing you how now in the operation center or also on the command line, you can create a retention set for Exchange or SQL backups. A retention set takes the already backed up data and then based upon a retention rule that you create, it creates a point in time snapshot of that data that can be kept for a specific amount of time. So almost like an archive. And back in version 8.1.7, we introduced these retention sets for file system backup data, Spectrum Protect for VE and system state backups. And now in version 8.1.12, we're starting to extend this to our application backup and our first entries will be Exchange and SQL backups. In this demo, I'll show how you can add the Exchange and SQL clients to either new or existing retention rules and how then you can have that retention set generated in place or sent out to tape. And if you want, you can actually kick off an on-demand generation of a retention set. The retention sets will include all the active state backup versions at that point in time. So you can see by the little chart here, if it's a full backup, then it'll include that full backup. If there's full plus incrementals, it'll be the full plus incrementals. Full plus differentials, it'll be the full plus the most recent differential. Copies, it'll be the most recent copy. And if there's a full plus incremental plus differential plus copy, then it'll be all of them. And if it's incremental plus differential only, then it'll be none of them. Another thing to note is that the local destination VSS backups will not be included in RETSET. And this is because only the metadata is sent to the Spectrum Protect server. So we have no access to the actual uh, backup data. Okay, with that, let's go ahead and take a look at the demo. First, we'll create a new retention rule to generate retention sets for Exchange and SQL, and then I'll show you how you could add that to an existing retention rule. So from the overview page, go into Services, Retention Rules, and click on Create Rule. First, you'll need to enter a rule name. We'll go ahead and call this Exchange underscore SQL underscore rule. You'll want to choose a Spectrum Protect server, and that has to be a 8 112 or above server to support the Exchange and SQL retention sets. Then you'll want to choose a frequency. We're going to select every Wednesday and we'll leave the start time as it is and we'll choose one week for the retention period. Now if you did want to go to tape, you could set it up so it offloads to tape, but we're going to go ahead and leave this retention set in place. Next, you need to add the specific clients. So go ahead and click on the plus add. Select either individual clients or node groups. And this will work for all levels of the TDP clients. And so as we scroll down, you'll see this client whose name is Exchange, and it also happens to be an Exchange backup. So we're gonna select all the file spaces for that. And if we scroll down a little bit more, we'll see the client called SQL, which not surprisingly backs up our SQL database. So we're going to add all the file spaces for that one. And then we'll click Create. You'll see that this retention rule has been created successfully. So we can go ahead and click Close. And now you'll see our new rule that we called Exchange underscore SQL underscore rule and it'll create a retention set when it runs next Wednesday at 12 a.m. If we double click this existing rule called monthly, we can then go in and modify the client. So if we click on modify and then click add, we can either choose an individual client or node group, and now we can also add Exchange or SQL clients to this existing monthly retention rule. If you go to the clients page, you can create a one-time retention set. The first thing you have to know is that the client has to be a specific platform type. And so for this TDP support, the platform has to show up as either TDP 
MSSQL Win64 or TDP MSSQL Win32, or it has to show up as TDP MS Exchange, E X C H G. Select one or more clients and then click on More Create Retention Set. You're going to give the retention set a name, so we're going to call it SQL underscore ret set. You'll set the retention period. We're just going to choose one week. We're going to choose to keep this local. We're not going to send it out to tape. Click create. Okay, you can see that that retention set was successfully created. Go ahead and click close. And now if you go back to services, retention sets, uh, you'll scroll down and you'll see this new SQL underscore ret set that we just created. It's 11 gigs and we're just retaining it for one week. So in summary, I've shown you how you can now add SQL and Exchange clients to either new retention rules or to existing retention rules, which will generate retention sets on a scheduled basis or you can create a one-time retention set for those clients. Thank you very much.